Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. Um, in the video, we're going to have a look at the uh, running of the tests um, in a DevOps pipeline. But this time, we're going to look at the running of the um, of the acceptance tests, which run against um, Logic Apps when they're deployed in Azure. So this is the two flavors of tests we've got in our VS Code solution. So in, in a previous video, look, we looked at the unit tests. Here, we're going to look at the acceptance tests here. So this is the ones where we deploy it to Azure, we run these tests, they connect to the management API for Azure, execute the workflows and, and check what's happening. So here in my DevOps pipeline, you've got um, two stages. So in the, the previous video about the unit tests, we, we looked at this stage here. This time we're going to look at the, um, the steps that will deploy our logic app to Azure and then run the acceptance tests. So here we... Um, We've got a number of steps. So we're in the in the first stage of the build, we deployed, uh, sorry, we ran and tested locally, and then we produced a build artifact. And this uh, this stage here is going to pull down the build artifact onto the build agent, and then we're going to run the the task here to do the deployment to Azure. So we I guess before that, worth noting, we just built the solution to make sure we've got the. Um, the acceptance test projects being compiled and built, ready to run. We then deploy the workflows out to Azure, and then we execute the tests. So the, the first thing to note is there's a lot less steps this time because we don't need to worry about the function core tools. We don't need to worry about Azure, right, because the, the workflows aren't running on the build agent. They run in Azure, so we can just get straight to testing them here. And if you notice, when I ran the tests, again, like before, I've got the, the login output showing what the result of each test was. And you could modify the loggers if you had some problems and get more verbose output, giving you all the, the details of what went wrong, if there was any failures and stuff. And then, again, like previously, we have the same step to <clears throat> publish the test result results to, um, to Azure DevOps. You would see up here... <clears throat> We saw previously that we've got the uh, the run results for the acceptance tests. And you can see there's a, a list of them here and, and what their outcome was. So we're in quite a good place. Again, we've, we've got two types of tests and we get the results in DevOps. That's, you know, ticks and boxes of good things we want to be doing. So if we have a look at the pipeline now, so we need to go down to the second job in this pipeline. This is the one that deploys and runs the acceptance tests. So we... Um, pull the artifact down that the first job produced. We then I've got a bunch of diagnostic steps here just to help troubleshoot the pipeline. And if you notice on the, the YAML, I've put comments on everything to explain what we're trying to do and why we're doing it. Um, so that'll hopefully help people understand what the pipeline's doing if you're not that familiar with them. Um, so here we build the solution and then we've got the standard function app deployment steps so we're doing the zip deploy um and and that you know pretty straightforward there's nothing special about that if you're used to deploying your logic apps it's the same task the bit where we start adding the stuff about the tests and here we're going to run the the tests and we're running them again we're running dotnet test from the command line in powershell um and it's passing in the logger to produce the test results and the logger for the console output in the the build um, output that we saw in DevOps. And then we're going to publish the results here. And, and this really is just going to run it like we were running it locally on our machine when we wanted to execute them acceptance tests. We're just doing a .NET test command and the pipeline's really doing the same thing. And that'll, um, that'll run those tests in the cloud for you. So it's pretty straightforward stuff. Um, and hopefully if you have a look through the pipeline in, in GitHub, it's easy enough to follow. Thanks very much for listening.